I had um, I had some people at the gig tell me one time, like, and it stuck with me. This saying, it's okay. like, especially like in the uh, marketing industry. Yeah. You're a champion today, but you're nothing tomorrow. Meaning that you got your win, but tomorrow, that's cool and all, but you got to. They stole that gotta, from Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson and the niggas. But it, I, it ain't, they ain't I, lying. I, mean, I didn't hear it like that. I didn't hear I didn't know anything about it. That, the first person I heard about it was in the market. It's the same as uh, Fail Fast. Like. What's fail fast? Fail fast is like just get the shit done, and if you fail or succeed, at least if you fail, you fail fast so that you can recuperate and change up your your method or your strategy. To oh, they stole that from niggas. But <laughs> but it, it stuck with me. Though. Niggas like, ain't even trying shit, to do that shit. shit. Is, the shit is real though. That shit had, like for real, for real. Like little shit like that, it kind of motivates you to, to be like you know fuck it. Let me let me tell you about this man. My fat ass lost, you know what I'm saying, six pounds this week. I'm going to go ahead and air that. Oh, shit. That's one but, titty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start the show. Let's start the show. Let's start the show. <laughs> I'm going to give you that one, man. <laughs> I got an applause for we start the show. I don't know which one that is. We're going to do it. People on that goofy shit. I hate them. These people out here tweaking, bro. I hate them. If you ready for the show, say. I hate them. Say. I hate them. Say. I hate them. Hey, man. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the I Ain't Going Show. I'm your host, CJ. Awesome, CJ-ish. Here with my boy, my co-host, D. D is in his bag. And as usual... It's homie time right now, okay? And we are here to debate, relate, berate, and be great. Yes. (laughs) One, two. (laughs) Nah, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Your mama got one titty bigger than the other one. They call them big and smalls. <laughs> one titty has a nipple, the other has a mouth. <laughs> Let me tell you See, this guy, this guy, I can't even flex. I can't even uh, flex, man. Uh, how you doing? How you been doing this week, man? Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Let me cut you off. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I've been fucking up. You guys should know. A lot of y'all know our longtime listeners. We play the I ain't going game. The I ain't going game is whenever one of us say I ain't going, we have to drink. And I just said it a couple of times, so I'm going to take a big goat pause. Pause wasn't necessary. Charleston White, I would listen to him today. Everything oh, he gave. That... <laughs> but anyways. That man. nigga trash. <laughs> so, by all means, get with the show. Yes, sir. How's your week been, sir? Uh, it's been good, man. Yeah, it's been good. Okay, living life, going through all the, the 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 same shit, challenges here and there, but it's been straight, man. Like I I I, I don't have any complaints. Honestly. Okay, like okay. still, yeah. want to say some shit, but I don't want to be negative because it's just like you know it's shit that's life shit. But trying to buy a house, what happened? To, oh, okay, okay, going through that and. Uh, <laughs> You know, it's a com- competitive market. Trying to buy right another now. house. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, put your bids out there. Like that. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 definitely trying to get one we actually live in, man. Um, you know, we lived in, you know, we purchased a house, lived in it. Now we're trying to get another house, but we're not trying to sell a house. You know what I'm saying? We're yeah. just trying to keep going, build that, you know, portfolio, I guess. You know. But. 
Stress, little shit. Stressful, <laughs> stressful life shit. You know what I'm saying? Little shit. Shut it comes with that. Oh, <laughs> hey, because like real talk, man, like when you got the, the wildest shit that I feel that we've experienced is that, you know, ever since the pandemic, everybody is entrepreneurs, right? Coronavirus! Everybody Coronavirus. was like, and if you guys are like, or have, a, have been experienced the shit that I have, it's more so like you see on TikToks, Instagram, all these ways to make money, all these like, you know, everything is positioned to us as easy ways to do shit, right? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, all you got to do is do this. Yeah, work hard and, you know, get this. Get Buy the coke, and like, yeah. Cook it up. Yeah. This is, distribute it. Yeah, you good. <laughs> and it's some of the most humbling shit, like when life humble your ass, bro. When I want life be like, yeah, nigga, uh-huh. uh, they ain't tell you about this. You don't, you know, know about that. And now you got to. My you know, taxes? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's just so many things that is left out. And and maybe that's why most of them be like, hey, yeah, y'all can do this if you just do this. And also, buy my class. Hot <laughs> <way. laughs> Buy my book. <laughs> do this. It's like all that shit. Um, but we got a plan for how we trying to build generational wealth and shit. So the biggest thing that we have been trying to do is stick to what we want to do. It, like we, me and my wife are not about the get rich quick schemes, right? We mm-hmm. just want to. That's called scamming. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Those pyramid schemes and all that shit. Like, we ain't about that. All you gotta do is get is. like eight other niggas yeah, under like, you, and yeah, they and get eight other niggas under me, them. You can drive a, and uh, then you can drive a BMW. Phantom. You can drive a Phantom like I do. Like, nah, nigga, that shit ain't real. Fuck out of here. No way, niggas have to fuck over to get this Phantom. You know what I'm saying? Like thousands, I mean, and you included in that shit. <laughs> But no, it, it, it's been a humbling uh, experience, man, just trying to grow into that next phase in our life and shit. So I'm not saying ever that it's been a bad week because every day has been a progression, whether a failure or something that has like kind of lift every <laughs> set us back. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> till earth in heaven. Yeah. I go ahead. I, I go wanna, ahead. Go I ahead. I should, but I'm not. Go ahead. You know keep keep going. Keep singing. Right, because you don't know the words? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know the full thing, man. Come on, man. I know what I know, but it's been a minute. Food this man. Since they had us in school singing the shit, it's been a minute. You know what? I ain't going to flex on you. <laughs> like, in my school, elementary and shit, it was Pledge of Allegiance and it was that. Yeah. We was doing that color guard and all yeah. that shit. After they post some flags, nigga, lift yeah. every yeah. G, before we move on, cause I I wanna I wanna find out how your week was too. But I I came across a TikTok and it was a a girl talking about you know it was one of those tell us something that's different about you know the U S that you didn't know or whatever mm-hmm. and. I forgot what the start was, but basically she started- Where she was from. Like, she's from the UK. Oh, okay. And she started her video with the US is seen as, at least from her perspective, living in the UK, is seen as a cult. It is. And I was just like, yes. And there's certain- there's a lot of fucked up shit about our country. And they kill niggas that ain't a part of the cult. But it's a lot of fucked up shit about our, our you know, the country that we just be like, damn, that shit, wow, and that we recognize. But in, it, it, like to hear from this perspective was like really actually eye-opening in a little bit. And especially for a motherfucker from the UK talking Gee, about this is a cult. Yeah. When y'all Gee, got a whole queen. Yeah, she was, but see, she was just like, yo, like the whole idea of the Pledge of Allegiance, like, in the UK, they don't do that. They don't sit up in class and stand up and or like in games and all. They have to, you know, raise their hand. No shit. To say a pledge, and it's kind of a. It, it, and when you think about it, it was like, why do we do that? It's it's a lot of irony from a <laughs> like, motherfucker from the UK talking about hey, I'm, pledges or some not, shit it's not good, that it's, that country started. Hey, look, I'm not going. 
to like. Oh, you ain't going. <laughs> True. Um, you ain't got the answers. Damn, you ain't man. got the answers, Sway. I'm, I'm going to get it one day. I ain't going day. nowhere. Jesus <laughs> this motherfucker here. But it was just eye opening because of the idea that it made me think, like, damn, yeah, we do Pledge of Allegiance. Obviously, the healthcare system and shit is wild. Like, how do you not have subsidized healthcare and shit like that? Like, for being one of the top countries in the world, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Um, and it was just like that whole idea of like, but what really stood out was like the Pledge of Allegiance. Like, why do we like have to feel like we have to do that shit? Like, we here. We they know, kicked the nigga like, out of the NFL like, for like, that you know shit. What like, you know what I mean? Like, kneel uh, versus like standing strong. It's like patriotic is. I kneel at baseball games on GP. <laughs> well, just, that's because your knee's bad, nigga. You just, nah, like, <laughs> I can sit down. I, I'd rather kneel. I'm trying to do some shit. But yeah, no, that was interesting. But anyway, how was your week, bro? My week was straight, man. My yeah. week was straight on, on some D shit. You know what I'm saying? That's good. That's good. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why I switched them up. Like, I had an awesome D shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. I almost threw up GD. My, my shit was straight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why not? <laughs> Them OTF niggas might come around. Like, but, I, am not, <laughs> hey, I am not a part of any of this. But go ahead. But yeah, man, my shit is straight, man. I ain't, yeah. ain't really had no issues. I just been trying to get answers to that little accident. I've been trying to get my shit together, trying to get my uh, fender. I'm doing it myself because it's cheaper than the fucking uh, oh, yeah. insurance and shit. But the, the side swipe. Yeah. yeah. The way my. Uh, relationship and baby work i ain't had enough time to get out there and do the shit yeah because so, you was gonna come out to me right? yeah yeah maybe they'll let me do it on father's day <laughs> today maybe and only today maybe can you get some shit can i yeah can i get drunk and shit like that and and do some shit that helps the family even that's what they want even then there's gonna be limitations i heard about what you're trying to do on father's day and i'm just like i can't do it man i gotta work that day what I'm trying to do on Father's Day? Oh, maybe I just uh, <laughs> maybe I just shit on your wife's plans. My bad. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't even tell me. Don't even go further. Oh, okay, never I don't mind. Know shit about I, fuck it. Father's Day. You know what I'm saying? Hi, you're gonna have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. yeah. So if I wanted to join, I was like, I got work. I was like, I could be around there around like four or five. Oh yeah, shit. Yeah, no, nah, I don't know shit. Damn. About shit. <laughs> Anyways, damn, my bad. We'll, we'll make something work. Nobody, you got to tell me it's a surprise, nigga. I know. They need to be able to tell your ass. I mean, if you know about it, why wouldn't I know about it? Because your wife loves you. But you know about it. Wouldn't it be a surprise for you, too? Nah, I think it's more so about you. <laughs> I think the surprise for me is like, I'm going to let you do it. <laughs> oh, okay. Nah, I don't know shit about I shit. I heard there was some fun happening. And there you go. Go ahead. Don't never tell you I ain't did no shit for you now. Oh, it was one of those. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Nah, I don't know shit about that. But anyway, man. Damn, I feel. I don't. No, you ain't told me shit. Hey, listen. This is how niggas work, though, bro. We be up in here like, hey, your wife is playing some shit. And there's like. I would whole... never fuck up a surprise exactly. if I knew it was like, a... But when we like know when we when we start giving out little hints or not even hints, we just start the discussion yeah. of it and the other look like, huh? What? It's like, oh shit, uh maybe you didn't know about it. Oh uh, yeah, no, nah, nigga. Just know you good. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna continue. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? That? Niggas just shut the fuck up. That? Like we ain't gonna be like, oh, you ruined the surprise for me. You did this, like, no, nah, nigga, like, hey, it's cool. Like, uh, what was that, Big Daddy? Uh Adam Sandler, you, you ruined, we wasted the good surprise on you. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we got to uh, go back to our sponsor, man. Stogie Tobacconist. Stogie Tobacconist. <laughs> Stogie Tobacconist. Premium cigars for the culture. Respect the smoke. Smoke some, bitch. Yeah. I got that one on time. Yeah. I mean, you're you uh, learning. Shit. Cross the ticker, you'll see. Put in the I ain't going promo code, get a discount. Premium cigars, as we said before. Yeah. So uh, let's get right into the show, man. Black history in the making, black history in the making, as always. 
Oh no. Yeah, this is what I always do. <laughs> <laughs> Black History in the Making. Like we say, things we bring up, Black History in the Making. Our show is Black History in the Making. Yes. You can't deny it. But um Black on Black. Before black on, black we uh, get into the bullshit, the only Black History in the sh- Making shit we got right now is um this Mercer and Prince that we drinking on right now. ASAP Rocky's uh, new whiskey, Canadian whiskey infused with Japanese barrels and shit. The shit smooth as eggs. Nigga didn't pay us for that, but we got to shout out the, yeah, gotta shout out the, the, the black people that put on for the black people yeah. and shit, man. And for uh, you niggas that don't like to spend a lot of money, this shit is not expensive. Yeah. Crown Royal drinkers, you'll fuck with it. You are getting less than a fifth, though. This much. <laughs> Probably but, a, a shot less than a fifth. But it's worth it. it. It is actually good. Being, you know, a bourbon fan. Shit come with shit. two cups. Two cups. You can get you a Top D- and a bottle. You can get you a shit. DUI, man. <laughs> drink it in the car. Hey, you want to drink in the car? Go ahead. You ain't even got to ask the, uh, you know what I'm saying, the clerk you behind got the counter. Do you got cups? Yeah, you ain't got to walk around with that black bag if you don't want to. To which I, hey, man, I went into a liquor store, like, the other day and realized that, you know, the the, the red Solo cups, mm-hmm. they basically went got the big pack, right? Broke them bad boys up to a four pack and, like, an eight pack on their own. Yeah. Bagged them themselves. And was selling them bad boys for like a dollar to two dollars. That's called the dope game. Gee, they was that's like they gonna get them niggas on the Rico. Yo, <laughs> like they. I said, like, wait. So this is only a dollar for these four cups. Oh man, and you know they like them those yes, red size. Oh, were, not the bullshit ones no, that they give you in the Chicago. Actual, like big cups, bro. They snapped. Went to Sam's. They snapped. Talk, hey, shout out to them, man. We ain't gonna, ain't no shout we ain't out to gonna them. shit out. Our no. black people, we need to start doing this. We need to start. But you know, they, that's like, when they put Ricos out on you and shit like that, man. Hey, gee, what's stopping them from selling cups, bro? Oh, we do got some positive shit, man. I forgot about um after your son's birthday, man. We did some on top of the nigga shit we did drinking and smoking at your uh, oh, yeah. little kid birthday party. We went to uh. Fellowship, Cam yeah. Newton shit, man. Yeah. Had a good ass time. Motherfuckers <laughs> got dressed up and all that shit. Ate. Tony with, got uh, me these two sweaters. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Went yeah, out, had bro. another, another, went to another spot, had motherfucking uh, Valley yeah. and shit. Yeah. This is me. This yeah. Is me. Yeah. That, that, keep my shit. Oh, you ain't gonna keep my shit out front? Okay. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna park this uh, Nissan Pathfinder next to these uh, Rarries. <laughs> Rarries and Rovers, <laughs> Teslas, Benz. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't get no car wash today. <laughs> like, oh, I, ain't I, get can't, no car wash today. I can't get my shit parked out front. But yeah, man, that was it was a good night, man. Like, Fellowship was definitely as advertised, bro. And this is not an advertisement. Like, because these niggas are to bad, make it, man. We gotta shout these things out, man. But it was, it was the vibe was good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Black excellence, customer service, all in the, in, all in, all in the, uh, in the space. You know what I'm saying? This nigga over here had the rollie on and shit, so that got attention. So you know what I mean? Bit. Like, you know, you got <laughs> recognized by you know in, in their uh, humidor, bro. Like the experience there, like the people that worked there was extra cool. I, it was a good vibe, bro. For real, for Old real. Time. Man. Food good, smoke Food good. Food was all that amazing, shit. bro. The food was fucking amazing. Nigga had a couple of flights of whiskey. I'm like, oh Gee, shit. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> and the filet mignon was fucking to the T, bro. It oh. was on point. And you yeah. a motherfucker that's uh, real uh, bougie about your steak and shit. Damn, She'd bro. like, this shit trash, but still been eating that motherfucker. Gee, it was, it was. It was excellent, man. It was a good time, though, man. Nice time with the homies, bro. All right, man. Well, let's get into the fuckery, man. Remember Power Rangers? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. First season of Power the Rangers. The original. Red Ranger. 
Jason. This nigga here. Toretta Swords. <laughs> this nigga got caught with the PPP shit. Ooh, I mean, shit. what's wild, bro, is that I remember when niggas, when this shit first came out, you had niggas left and right said, hey, yo, yeah, well, they got this PPP loan shit, bro. They got this PPP loan shit. It was like, I was looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> it was, nah, but see, like, that shit, I remember when it came out, it was just like, I remember hearing, they ain't gonna care. They ain't gonna get you. They ain't gonna know. Woo woo. Now, niggas have been getting popped off left and right, bro. But this is the thing that I'm seeing. It's the niggas that got greedy. The niggas that's getting popped is the niggas that got millions out that yeah, shit. Yeah, The niggas that did their initial, like, yeah. 30, 20,000, 30,000, yeah. and did it, like, a couple times, ain't heard no smoke from that yeah. shit. The niggas been kicking in the yeah. Cabo in Miami and shit like yeah. that. And I'm just like, shit. And, and, low-key, a lot of motherfuckers got businesses to let that shit go under the radar. Mm-hmm. Like, your business might... You ain't got no employees, G. Yeah. But you actually have a business. Yeah. I think they just floating that shit over. We should have yeah. did that shit. <laughs> we should have did that shit. Like, Motherfuckers have been like, hey, and this motherfucker. G. Red uh, cameras. Well, <laughs> one thing motherfuckers have learned about me, bro. I'm a scary motherfucker when it comes to that, bro. Like, I do not fuck around with the government. I don't fuck around with no, the police. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> no like chicken that, heads, that no Mike. Nothing. <laughs> bro, you talking about the shit? It's like Mike Epps' first special and shit. He was like, when shit happened to me, karma come back like, bam, bam. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. That, that's my ass. I'm that nigga, bro. I'm that nigga that like, yo, everybody doing this shit smooth as hell. And they like, yo, it's like a 1% chance. I'm that 1% nigga like. <laughs> this nigga uh, right here. Damn, bro. <laughs> Going to jail now. Just my fucking luck. Yeah, but that nigga got <laughs> that nigga was taking uh he he facing twenty years for three point five million. What's it worth it though? It was like because hey Bro, it ain't been more for time for thirty At, years. After <laughs> After the Rangers, bro, when you was no longer, you know what I'm saying, the head nigga that people was trying to see as the Red Ranger. When Tommy came around fuck, and fucked his whole life. What was you doing from between then and now, nigga, that you was just like, yeah, nah. Yeah, look that up. Like, gee. This nigga was doing some shit. Bro. You gotta live that LA life. I mean, well, maybe that's it. Maybe that's like, hey, when you out of LA and you like looking at the lifestyles, you looking at where you came from, what you once were. Maybe life just hit you like, damn, you know what Bro, I'm saying? Bro, Power Rangers came out with like, 93? Yeah. It's 20, but, that's 30 years it, ago. It is. Damn but it also is like, gee, when you at that stature, like, you are that nigga during that time, right? Mm-hmm. You the nigga with money. If you held on to your money right, you that nigga that's in L.A. doing your thing, and all this, all of a sudden that shit fall off. So then it's like, how the, fuck, how the fuck, do, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> how the fuck do I keep this shit up? Which that nigga is getting out of uh, jail soon. Oh, yeah, he getting out. And yeah. he's going to be busting again. Oh, hell yeah. You can't keep that nigga down. Like, that nigga finna be, finna be a CEO of some other company and going to be the, striving Wait. and fucking doing this thing. Charleston White. G- he <laughs> like, going to be that nigga. Like he's now, we gonna, not talking about that. Yeah. But, yeah, we, ain't, we definitely ain't talking about that nigga. But... <laughs> I I can see that being like it's because it's like uh from Pretty Ricky yo dude uh Blue yeah he got popped off of that PPP shit and it was just now, like, now everybody man. looking but it's funny when niggas be looking at it like these niggas was doing the two like bro come on man chill chill Stop chill chill bro you bro. can't be on some like you got pop you gonna be on some Nino Brown saying, shit. You, just because you got and the other niggas did it don't mean like you know what I'm saying you got to be on some like well, other niggas was doing it it's like no yes other niggas was doing, other niggas deal drugs you but you got at minimum, you know what I'm at minimum get beat the fuck up for doing some shit like that let niggas live like the shit yeah. we talking about like if you get called the PPP shit now you are gonna be like well uh nah. he did it nah yeah it, it's like, it's the ownership, bro. Take accountability. You got caught. Fucking do your shit. It's like little Dirk. Uh, Dad said, Big Dirk. He actually said how he. It's a video that came. Out. Wait, 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 wait. 
Maybe I'm not a big enough fan. Big Dirk? That's what it said on there. I, honestly, is a person? Yeah, that's his dad. Hell no. But that's what they... <laughs> I mean, I'm not... I don't know if that's literally what he goes by. But it was in an interview that he spoke about how he didn't snitch on Larry Hoover. You know, he did his time. He didn't, like, you know, snitch. And that's just real shit. It's like, gee, he mentioned, like, wait, yo. Wait, 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 wait. So Big Dirt was a GD and Lil Dirt is a BD. I didn't think I'm about that. I'm going to have to bleak this shit out. I didn't think about that. But, hey, yeah, you know. But you know BDs are, were, yeah. were, were formed from the GDs. And, and do you also know that BDs don't like other BDs? I mean... I ain't really in the scene like that. So I don't know the ins and outs. I just know what I know. Old and Block? I, I know. I know what it is. No, Lamb, no, no, no. I know what it is. I know what it is. I, I'm, I'm trying to tell That's you. That's what I'm saying. Like, why the fuck? Is, oh, okay. I'm trying to tell okay, you. I'm okay, not trying okay. to speak okay. on that shit. I don't know why the fuck you want to keep going on you that right? shit. Like, you right. You nigga. right. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what the fuck? Shut the fuck up. Oh, but, damn. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> but but what what stood out was that he said that and it was like yo he mentioned how you know taking accountability like yeah. like like nigga you got caught why do you have to tell on other people and and snitch on and do all this other shit just because you got caught it's like you were in this life you chose to be in this life so take your fucking time because you got caught like don't try to take a lesser of this because you want to snitch on this nigga over here and get him more time when you could just do your fucking time and be like straight yeah we're gonna talk about this more in long live we're gonna talk about this more in long live yeah but um damn i should have brought this shit up black history in the making van lathan remember van lathan um, from TMZ fame, he started out with TMZ, and we know him from when Kanye came up there talking about slavery is a choice, and that nigga put him in his place. Yeah. Okay. Oh, from TMZ. You yeah, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now I was like, who the fuck? Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah, this yeah. nigga, but I'm gonna pretend <laughs> I do. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know him. <laughs> he sparks a debate and oh. says that Brandy and Ray J are the modern day. Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson. Now I'm going to do this for you because you are completely shut the upset. fuck up. Boo this man. No! I want to let you switch no, your no. shit and then I, and then I want to go. No, 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 no. no, no. Go ahead. No, no. First of all, what's the explanation? What is his reasoning behind saying that? Egregious no. fucking statement. Say your shit and then I'll I will go. Gee, don't disrespect Michael and Janet ever in your life like that. Shut the fuck up! Modern day? Modern day is actually like now and shit like on top of that. It's like nigga, we ain't heard shit from Brandy. Even we ain't heard shit from Ray J in fucking the last, what, five years? Like musically, we haven't heard. There ain't no been no Grammys. It ain't been no nothing. What? It ain't been no videos. What? No, uh, 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 what is it? It ain't been no interviews. What? It ain't been shit. What? <laughs> <laughs> like these niggas ain't been walking down the street. What? <laughs> and we cared enough to even we compare the. To compare what? them to a motherfucking Michael Jackson and Jimmy Jackson, nigga. What? <laughs> what the fuck is who even like G? We just got over calling this nigga Brandy's little brother. <laughs> and you go what fucking. You we just. <laughs> How long ago was it? G. How long ago was it? G. G. It was it been five years? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh shit, Brandy little brother really out here? Gee, you ain't never gonna say five years. <laughs> In 2022, nigga. Nah, nigga, nah, nigga. nah, nigga. <laughs> we just fucking got Jack over Harlow this shit. Ass, nigga. <laughs> we just got over this shit, bro. There's no. First of all, Brandy gonna be Brandy. That's I. I won't. You know. I, you ain't. 
it's a, it's much respect to her. It's much honestly, it's much respect to 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 Ray J too because to from a success level, he he he's doing his thing. So I joke when I'm trying to shit on, but bro, to compare them to the modern day, to say that they're the modern day Mike, Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, is very insulting. Honestly, it, it's very insulting. It, it honestly, I feel like they would be insulted, like for Michael Jackson and Janet themselves. They would be like, "Wait, what? Uh, nah, nigga, it ain't that." So. You can miss me with that shit. I ain't going. <laughs> I don't even give a fuck. I don't even give a shit to really else say to that. That's just like dumb as hell. Like, so this is what he was saying. I wanted you to tell me what he was saying before I said the <laughs> no, shit. No, I wanted it you to tell me. No, fuck like, no. Because without hearing his logic behind why he said it, you're not gonna agree with it either. <laughs> True, because that's a dumbass statement. <laughs> <laughs> so. I had all the smoke that you had because I was on some bullshit and looking at the shit at work. And I was just like, nah, I can't look at this right now. <laughs> so I read it and he was saying like, since then, what other siblings have been as impactful on the black culture as them? And I couldn't think of any. Unless you want to go, nah, Tia, Tamara, and Taj... It's not. No. They, they no. not. They, I mean, much respect to them. Musically, like they them niggas. Are we saying musically? No, we, we saying, saying period. Because I can get them, brother and sister. He was saying brother and sister. Because I can okay, and I can get from a triple threat thing. They're the family. They sing and they act and they black. That then that won't be triple. It'll be quiet. <laughs> But, yeah. <laughs> but yes, okay. So that's why I was saying, like, what is his logic behind that? Because to me, just to hear that shit instantly, <laughs> he's just like thriller. A nigga is offended because <laughs> these niggas ain't nowhere near as big. Ain't nobody ever faint over Ray J. They may have fainted. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. They may have fainted. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, grown men. Ain't never fainted over Ray J. And. But to his actual point, where are they? The black siblings, brother and sister. But I feel like that's weak, though. It's not weak. That's a weak statement. Just, Why like, is it weak? Because, because it's they so, don't exist. No, These are the only two niggas. Yeah, yeah, because it's like so. Uh, it's so. Easy to say, okay, well, what other sibling group duo is really out here doing this? Well, why you say it's weak instead of like because, that's great? No, no, no. I'm saying the comparison is weak because it's obviously, yeah, there's no other that we can think of sibling group. But to say that they're the modern day is not when we think of that term or that um statement. We're thinking yeah. of the level of success and the level of impact. Just because they have impact does not mean that we would ever want to put them at this. And I will give them that. They, Dr. Evil. They have. Let they, me tell you they, about the impact. They, they have. Let the me impact. tell you about the impact. I'm not saying impact. that they don't have impact. I'm saying that they're not at this. Like when I look at the impact level, yes, they exist. But I'm saying that this level of what. Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson did is way beyond anything that I would compare them to being this. I won't type. say way beyond. It's way it's beyond. beyond, but it ain't it's way, way beyond. beyond. Let me tell you this. What's the stats? The stats right here. Let me tell you something. How tall are you? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, how many records? This, this how, how many tall, Grammys? This, this how this how it is. So Brandy, we gon' Brandy. She's Brandy. Moesha, yeah, records, great singer, all that shit, yeah, actress, been in everything, yeah. Ray J, mm -hmm. he's a fucking uh, what award do I get this motherfucker? He's an A plus sniper when it comes to the uh, women that he's fucking, with. and the most notable one. The most notable one, 
He put her on. We not going to sit up here and lie and say that Kim Kardashian is not way more famous than Ray J. Mm -hmm. But we can say that if that didn't happen, she wouldn't be where the fuck she is. To the point where a couple of weeks ago, they making up shit on the Ray J <laughs> that he's still yeah. holding on to sex tapes. So, and he still has the power to put other women on. So, I know what you're saying as far as like the elevation of how high Janet and Michael are. But you can't shit on it just because of the modern day. Modern day is, it's a lot of shit that you can't do right now that you could do back then. Michael Jackson couldn't have no fucking sex tape out with no white girl in the fucking 80s. But if he did, that motherfucker could have been God like he was already God like to a lot of motherfuckers. That nigga could have been God like if that would have happened. Yes, yes. His powers extend. <laughs> he to, already had power yeah, yeah, yeah. and this shit. But I'm saying, literally. like, what they got, like what Brandy and Ray J got going and all that shit. She just shit on Jack Harlow on his own shit. And she I was, didn't even listen to it, but I'm I'm sure it was good. Yeah, it was decent. And I, I wasn't ready to hear that sure. shit. I'm, I'm no, sure I was. I was. Because I heard her rap on. Did you watch Queens? The show no. that they had? No, not did I watched it and shit. Yeah. And she was rapping on there. And I was just like. I'm not I'm, I'm not denying her talent. Here's where I'm saying. No, I no, still, no. I no, still, no. I still don't know. No. I still. Just because your existence. Um, don't say existence. No, because they do exist. They are. Uh, they have an impact on culture. But they have a big impact. impact they, on culture. They, they have a. I wouldn't say a big because, like, outside of Brandy, is the only thing that you Kim can Kardashian. say has a big. No, no, no. Kim Kardashian, like, bro. First of all, that wasn't a planned. Like, I mean, it was. It, it, they said, bro. It was okay, I don't even give a fuck. fuck. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna go there because whether <laughs> it was planned or not, that shit right there does not equate to, like. The level of a Janet Jackson and Michael Jackson duo. No, I'm sorry. So, no. so that's why I say the because of the existence of it all. Just like there, there's duos that siblings, siblings, that, yeah, there are siblings that might exist that we might not know Black too much siblings. about. But like also outside of Brandy, Ray J has a fan base that's large and is you know is it is, is, is successful as well. Brandy has an even larger one. Yes. But what it, you're not going to tell me is that they are the modern day version of that. But modern you're, day, the, the modern, modern day, day means like what you be, can because do Because right there's now. no other existence of it does not yes. make it do. Like, I just don't see how that even makes sense to me. And I and maybe I I'm just not right. getting it and I'm just I'll, not understanding I'll it. I just think that that's dumb I'll as hell an to me. Olive branch. And there's no 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 disrespect to No no no. Name, no no um no. cause we watch Zeus. Or on uh yeah, Zeus, hell yeah. Uh, but <laughs> I'm saying no disrespect to uh, uh homie from TMZ. It's no disrespect. He got his Blank, opinions. Dang. And he's 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 doing a show. Yeah, you, you there's no disrespect. You got your opinion, but I don't. Oh, they shit it on him, and I don't agree with that shit. I think that that's like, yo, that's like a motherfucker. Like because a a um uh, uh, what is it called? I'm trying to think of the the shit. Like um, when you be when you when you become to. When, when you express yourself and you say certain thoughts, you know what I'm saying? That is your being opinion. Real. Yeah. It ain't even being real. Everybody's entitled to their... Oh, it is. No, everybody's entitled <laughs> to their opinions, bro. And it's not bad or good or anything like that. It's not like, oh, shit, this motherfucker don't know what he's talking about. But... To disagree with that, 
isn't like, oh, shit, I'm shitting on what you're saying, but I just highly and strongly disagree with that statement. We're going to get off this, but all I'm saying is I think he has a point. No, he doesn't. I ain't going. In my opinion, and what I disagree with is well, go not ahead and take because a drink, you man. because of, because, of, because, of, because of comparison is just not fair, bro. Like, I get what you was trying to do, but that ain't it. You, oh, and here it is, you're oh, just oh, like oh, you know, oh. you're using your platform, you're using your thought process to say some shit, and now you're getting everybody, you know, what I'm saying, gassed up to respond to the shit. But fuck it, no, I don't agree with that shit because there's. Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson both have gone through a lot of life shit and a lot of scandal. Oh, no, no he listen, ain't doing that. No, I'm not doing that either. I'm saying there's a lot of scandal. There's a lot of, like, things that they have gone through that came out later in life. And we're – we look at them at a higher stature than a Brandy and Ray J. Although That's Ray J and the niggas Brandy are both talented and they are, but the impact that they have on have had on our culture is not the same. It's not. That's yeah. why it's so, so modern day. Say that they're the modern day is not is not there. It's like I don't know. Just because they exist does not make them the equivalent. D is in his. I'm just saying, just because they exist doesn't make them equivalent to. The modern day or the the past Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson sibling duel. That's all I'm okay. saying. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's get into sports. And uh, while I do this, can you look up that score? As usual, we're recording on a Friday, so we want to see what's going let's on. See what with we this, uh, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. But while he's doing that. We go talk about how the Warriors are just doing what the fuck they want to do to whoever the fuck they doing it with. Oh, yeah, the Heat. Uh, yeah, the Heat is going to take this one. They're going to be tied up. What's the score? 107 to 103. 12.1 seconds left in the fourth. Oh, how about that? Game, game six. Seven. Yeah, game Play seven. I was going to say game six. My ass dyslexic can't count. We get the game seven. Shit. So, yeah. at this point... Steph, what? Dre, what? Clay, what? Steve, what? They all showed y'all what I said. Pool, oh yeah, yeah. Pool, what? Do pool too? Showed y'all what I said from the jump, from before the league even started. I said the Warriors were going to win. I threw in Giannis too. And, it ain't over yet. And, and, and it ain't over yet. Oh, we got to talk about this. The Kendrick Lamar omen. The Kendrick Lamar omen, man. On some CJ-ish. <laughs> Somebody. Oh, I got to remember who the fuck that was. They posted some shit. Every time Kendrick dropped after Good Kid Mad City, Steph Curry wins a fucking championship. And guess who dropped? <laughs> K dot, we gotta break that. Your on. guy, we gotta break that on. Our guy, we gotta break that on. I ain't trying to buy you a drink or you pay you any money. So I forgot what the actual bet was. It's like fifty dollars or some $50. shit. Oh, yeah. It was little. Yeah, it's on. Some, be all right, you know. man. Shit, why don't you design some shit? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mean to do it like this, but like, Girl, yeah, do something shit. cold. <laughs> something else cold. <laughs> but yeah, man, this that shit dead. It's dead. Yeah, it's going to be tough, man, because like. <sighs> the Warriors beat uh, the White King. Never stood a chance in that fucking uh, series. It was. Never would have made it. Bro. Uh, hey, man, I ain't going to flex. Lucas Cole. Yeah. But he ain't. Stop calling him Brian. Stop calling him Larry Bird. Stop doing that shit. Them niggas. Well, not Brian. But Larry Bird had help too. But yeah. he was also that nigga. Yeah. Lucas, he rock. 
He cold. Yes. Well, you gonna have to get him he another. Little, he need another superstar. He did the little there. shimmy like yeah. uh, Curry in, in one of the games, and Curry was I don't like, like that shit. He should have no. Curry I don't was like, like that shit. Curry was like, oh yeah, I fucked with it. He should have did it longer. <laughs> He cut it off too quick. <laughs> After he fucking hit a gang of threes in the bench face. Yeah, and looked at them before they went in and yeah, shit. Yeah, G. It was just like, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, he ain't going to win. Curry ain't going to win. I hope he don't win. <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you why he's going to win. I would believe it more if the Heat got to the finals. Just because of how tough they are. Yeah. But them niggas is not healthy at all. Yeah. The Celtics ain't either. Yeah. Everybody fucked up over there because they beating the shit out of each other. Yeah. And Steph and them over there like, they like, huh. we're, yeah. we're energized. We, we took we're games good. off because we just wanted to win at home. Oh, uh, yeah, they did. Yeah. <laughs> they did, man. Every series. They motherfuckers. So, uh, are looking, we fucking y'all up. They looking like their usual. You know what I'm saying? You dig, but got somebody calling in? Yes, it is. They can't call in now. <laughs> I forgot to put that shit on. What you uh, now I got to get up and see if that shit's still recording. Oh, man. Got to pause. Like, who the hell calling while we recording, man? On 13. <laughs> don't they know we recording? He don't give a fuck. God damn. Some people don't give a fuck, man. Should have answered. Should have answered. It ta- I couldn't answer it, nigga. The phone's over <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> we didn't have callers before. We could have figured yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah. I got to get another <laughs> camera. But, niggas don't. Let me tell you this before we get. We talking about Stefan and shit. No, nah, we going to keep talking about that. That's, we going to do that shit on the side. <laughs> but, um. I'm going to talk about this nigga when we get. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. You know, fuck that nigga. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, man, it's over with. So, whatever little bet we had and all that shit. I know that you feel. I know that you I mean, take. It is I know that you take comfort point. and it wasn't Giannis. That's all I give a fuck about. <laughs> Know that That's you, all I, I, I know that I've you never, take comfort than it was I've honest. never been strongly <laughs> against Curry getting another ship. It's always been Giannis. Ever since you said that this motherfucker is the face of the NBA, it fucked with me. And I was just like, yo, how the fuck him winning one fucking championship, you think that he's MVP, the face of the two NBA? defensive players of the year. Bro. He's 27. Okay. I don't know my stats like that, so I ain't he even rate nobody. Next, next show, I'll come prepared, and I'll and I'll oh, do the research. Oh, I already research. know. I'll do the research. And this is gonna be a lot of hate. He's black, man. How about that? <laughs> but he ain't black, black. No, I'm just <laughs> D-, D is in his bag. <laughs> I just fucking with y'all. I just fucking with you. <laughs> Internet, no, does internet, he have to grow up? Internet, no, 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 seriously, <laughs> I'm always supporting all black. You know, it's all good. Well, you better hope we talk about some better <laughs> shit because I'm going to clip that motherfucker for Instagram. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. we definitely is. Hey, all right. but <laughs> <laughs> No, you thought he was mad before. He about to get real pissed. Walmart Juneteenth ice cream. <laughs> Where we at? Where we at? Wrong. Wrong. I'm gonna I'm gonna get you a proper intro. So <laughs> like <it>. Walmart <sighs> got into the game as if they wasn't rich enough. They promoting Juneteenth, which you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Off top, you like. Cool, Juneteenth, federal holiday, all that shit. We're at the BAM. So, I forgot about this camera. But, uh, <laughs> so, oh, we over here? Yeah. Oh, we over here. <laughs> <laughs> so, they come out with a Juneteenth ice cream. Also, other decorations. It's the freedom for me. 
It's a uh, t-shirt. T-shirts, yeah. all this shit that nobody asks for. And everybody's looking at them sideways to the point where they then drew back the ice cream, which now I kind of want to taste it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> See what it was about? I was like, ah, it's forbidden and all that shit. So, before I could even put this shit on the fucking, <laughs> on the fucking uh, roster, what we going to talk about, Diaz put that shit up instantly. So, what's good? I can't stand this shit. I, I, A, <laughs> A honestly, I am glad that Walmart was on some, hey, you know what? I bet we gonna take this shit back. We, we, That's what we they did. said? Yeah, they was just like, hey, you know what? We didn't mean, you know what I'm saying? Uh, to offend, but we, you know, we, we get y'all, the backlash made them like, you know what I'm saying, recall the shit and take it back. Yeah. All, the only thing that this has done has sparked in, in I think in a lot of us is, yo, gee, uh, particularly after the 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 George Floyd, you know, um, death and the whole and this liquor got me <laughs> Belgian and shit, but um, yeah, I ain't taking my hand. <laughs> like, I'm just like shit. Uh, <laughs> it it really helped the country, at least for our allies and shit to. You know, wait. You know, kind of, kind of wake up a little bit and say, "Hey, you know, I want to. We want to listen. We want to learn. I think we've talked about this in past episodes. Yeah. We want to learn. We want to. You know, what I'm saying, like, we want to Google support, that shit. You know, <laughs> but I think that this whole situation is just like, yo, companies right now are not understanding. Like, yo, when we say we want you to hear us and support us and under like understand us, like. Some of the shit is not it. Like it is it, there's a there's a way to support and there's a way to be there, but then there's a way also to take it too far. And it's it, it, it's a it's a a, um, a tricky like approach to how to get through the black people. I've said it before. I was like, yo, black people, we are very judgmental as far as we we want things, but you got to be careful how you present it to us, right? Because we want you to know, we want you to understand, we want you to like, you know, recognize. The We're fact, the women of races. I'm not going there. <laughs> we, we, Drink, we, nigga. No, like, I'm not, <laughs> this nigga. Like, gaslighting, like, what the fuck? Like, get the fuck out of here. I'm that was not no that. fucking gaslighting. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that. Though, man. Like, what the fuck? But anyway. Ooh, I'm going to get in trouble for that one. Yeah, you we should, got- nigga. What the <laughs> fuck, nigga? I'm not going to say that. Like, um, but it is, you know, we want these things. But there's, for some reason, when we have gotten to this place, I feel like allies and, and such have gone like they sometimes take it too far because that support now becomes, you know, appropriation. Is that what it is? Is that the word what I'm saying? Or like No, nah, yeah. And it's it's weird for you to wanna make money off of some shit that we want to celebrate or that we want you to acknowledge. In the sense of, you know, companies no I get it I'm a, I'm a, that's because there's, I there, there's a there's a way to make money and then there's a way to make it feel like okay here's a here's a situation here's a holiday here's a a, a place in time where we have said hey acknowledge this and make this a thing that we all know about and can celebrate because there's a lot of us as we have discussed that growing up we didn't know about Juneteenth. We yeah. didn't like, you know what I'm saying? Like a, a lot of us learned about it from the fucking what uh season or two ago from uh, I'm Atlanta. Saying. Like the majority we, of motherfuckers learned about this shit in the past five years. Yeah. And so granted, it's something that we as a black community want all of us to know about. Because I don't remember learning about this in 
It definitely went in no books. It went went in our Black History Month. Hell no. Uh, It wasn't there. And so, yes, we want that education to be there, but we don't want the exploitation of it all, like, having to be a thing. Now you're forcing us to, like, it's a feeling of being forced to celebrate versus, like, hey, just let us be within ourselves and acknowledge it and know it and we don't need you to throw it in our face like here here celebrate now look we got more memorabilia we got everything for you like look we got you know what i'm saying like and, and, the fourth but it don't feel good yeah you know what i'm saying and i get that like the fourth obviously ice cream comes out around that time with the fourth fourth of july but slaves yeah. weren't involved in but it the wasn't fourth. yeah and so it's like now you got <laughs> The slaves thing. looked at the fourth like, oh, my fireworks. Yeah, you know. Nobody like, yeah, knows. And, the, and, the, and, and so it hits differently. And I yeah. think that that's where the miss is coming in at, is that we're not saying, hey, celebrate this in the way that you would in the other thing and in, in, in the explosions that you, you like have to like uh, it's use, the freedom use this holiday to make money and do all this. Like, I feel like the miss is that you created a product that now you have black consumers wanting to buy because you put the colors of it. He's like, hey, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> but, I didn't mean to do the Because I coughed. Like, yeah. Uh, but there's a, and I know I'm, I'm, I'm drawing it out, but essentially I just, I was, I, I feel what the rest of like, the black community was feeling when it when when seeing it, and I'm glad that Walmart had the you know the the right sense to say you know what we're gonna take it back. But it just it, it just is frustrating that companies like you know as big as that, you know we're not asking for you to try as hard. Honestly, is what I'm getting at. We're not looking for you to make this a, a a spectacle like or like make it a huge thing we we already want it to be a big thing and, and, and we just like to acknowledge i feel like that's the thing it's like once it became a federal holiday that's we we that, didn't we didn't stand a chance and it's true what's even more fucked up about but it but that's what like, we wanted like, though we, we just wanted talked about holiday no, and shit we just talked about like most motherfuckers ain't find out about this shit until like five years ago. Yeah. So from then on, niggas ain't even really get to just like bask in it. Yeah. Before it got to this shit. So now it's extremely watered down. And where we at right now, it's it's a real fucking shaky middle ground as far as like getting the shit that we deserve and also being decent in mm-hmm. this world. Does that make sense? Because I got, I can explain it. Yeah, explain. Okay. So, yeah. Coronavirus! <laughs> Coronavirus! So. June team, we're at the band. Find out about it. Party, barbecue, all the shit that we like to do in the culture that ain't been fucking taken away from us at this point. Yeah. So then there comes, all right, y'all need to recognize this shit. All right, we we recognize it. All right, better holiday. Boom. This is what y'all want, right? Yeah, but we wanted the day off. <laughs> yeah. But and dare I speak for a lot of black people. We don't want white people to have a day off, though. <laughs> or if they do have the day off, please don't talk about it when we get back to work. That's fair. I'm not saying the fear of like wanting white people to not. I want everybody. Like if we, think I do that, want them like, to get yeah. off work. If we, if we, I thinking, was just yeah. No, I, get you. I don't shit. think that that's it. I don't think that this is going to get me canceled. No, like, yeah, this is going to be that clip. No, but I don't <laughs> think that there is a. Uh, we don't want everyone to participate. We're not doing Atlanta. Kevin Samuels. I'm giving everybody scholarships. 
but only the black people. We're not doing that. I'm not saying that either. Like I want, like I just, that. I think that this is just genuine. Generally, I just want it to be, you know. Sometimes I, and and this is just my personal feelings for it all, bro. Ever since the George Floyd thing, I feel like a lot of people have wanted and like you know wanted like answers from me or wanted answers from at right, the gig. No, not even. Well, not at the gig. No one has. You talking about in public? I'm saying in general. There's a motherfuckers have been asking you for answers. Not answers, but like that's pissing me off. But not answers, but more so like, hey, I want to learn. Oh yeah, 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 and I want to let you know that I'm here to hear you. And I feel personally, there's a lot of pressure in that shit for me that makes me uncomfortable it's because it's like, yo, G. I up to this point, I know what I know, but I'm not a teacher. I don't know like like and I get it. We're we're here to like that that's that's where the kind of challenging aspect comes in. Because there's so many activists and there's so many people that want to be like, Yeah, well, yeah. we gotta educate and we gotta say this and I'm Old like time. But Old I'm time. not that person. I just don't have it in me to be like, All right, let me sit down and explain this to you. I just kinda want you to know that it when, exists. When that shit happened, I had all the I had all the time to be on that shit. And then I got exhausted after that. True. Like, True. I was, like, left and right. If you wanted to, if you brought it up, I was going to bring this up. And I was about to bring up why. And I was about to bring up some shit in the past. <laughs> you was about to sit in this shit. Yeah. This is the shit I've been sitting in. Yeah. You was going to hear it. Yeah. And I didn't, I didn't want to hear nothing from you. But, like, damn. That's fucked up. Yeah. Just like if something bad happened to you, you don't want to hear nothing from me, but like, damn, that's crazy. Or shit. I, w- I wish I could help you out or some yeah. shit like that. That's that, that's why I was on for, i say about a year. Yeah. And after that, exhausted. Yeah. I could not, I can't yeah. at this point in my life. Motherfucker come to me with that shit and we not already cool or no shit like that and you already know? Nah, man. Yeah. Get on Google and fuck around. Yeah. Fuck off. And that's and that's where I, I maybe that's what it is about me that I've come to that that point where I'm more so like exhausted at the thought of having to like break down why this is important or why is that important it's it like for me i just want, you got kids you got to say that shit too at the same exactly time. exactly and i and I, I look at it as more so as the acknowledgement and that's why i say like companies that are those large companies that are you know owned by like white families or like you know they're predominantly white companies and they reach out to um agency like marketing agencies and things like that that want to like you know make you know black agencies that which is great yeah. is 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 that we can can have that and companies want to especially when they have a large uh black consumer base like you know their customer yeah. base is you know a lot of like black consumers they it's more so of a we don't necessarily need this um, this amount of like propaganda, not propaganda. That's a word, bad word. But like, no, but, but we that shit like, is. But it, it's like, yo, we don't need all of that. Is what, what I'm getting to. All I'm saying is that I don't want to make it like, or because I'm trying to explain it and I can't articulate it uh, well enough. But it, for me, it's just like we don't need that. The fact that if you just support and acknowledge that this is a thing. That is what I am looking for. And I feel like a lot of us are looking for. You don't have to market to us. You don't have to do like put just, our shit out there. You don't. Yeah, just put our shit out there and support us in a way of okay for Black History Month. Uplift black uh company uh black products. 
You know what I'm saying? If, if the product trash, don't do that. Yeah, if the product <laughs> if the product is just like not a bad, it's not a good don't, product. Don't whatever. uplift. Look, don't just uplift because yeah, it's black, like, but like it's out there. Good, this shit trash. But don't do that. But like the fact that it's like it's little shit like that, and then like maybe if you say, here's where I think there's something like that Juneteenth merch and ice cream could work. A, if it was a black owned ice cream company. Or B, if you said everything that was Juneteenth sold in our stores on either on this day or on this month, all the proceeds, all 100% of the proceeds goes to black foundations, organizations, school systems all across the country. Like, that's the only way I feel like that to me works. It's not, we don't want you to just be on something like, hey, yeah, look, we are creating products for you to help to help you celebrate this day because we believe that this day is important no, to you. No, fuck with us. It's like, no, like, we don't need that. Honestly, we don't need to go spend more money. <laughs> I swear to God, I <laughs> like, know anybody cook out that's white and they got them plates and they That's shit. what I'm saying. I'm leaving. That is that is what <laughs> I'm that is, leaving. That is I don't want to eat none of this shit. Bro, that is the fear that I have with that shit. When we saw <laughs> that they had t-shirts, uh plates, napkins, I'm and dipping. selling all this on top of the ice cream, right? If like they don't think about the backlash, bro, that I am thinking about and we are all thinking about as a black community like yo G, you go to one of your co-workers house because now everybody got the day off and you get to their crib because they want to have a, you know they want to have a a, a a barbecue or or a party whatever and it's all Juneteenth black green you know what I'm saying red like hey, decorations all over all the place this, with all this because we got to move on I really, not really, not really. It's gonna feel like an episode of Atlanta, but it anyway, is. It it, 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 it rubs me the wrong way, and I'm not trying. I, to I already know. I already know. I already know. And this is bro. why I'm struggling to say how to <laughs> say this shit. Niggas is trying. Like, oh, that's fair. Yeah, that's that's all I'm saying. That's fair. Niggas is trying, and when and, I say niggas, I'm talking about white people. Yeah. Niggas is trying. Yeah. A hundred percent. That's why I say like someone like Walmart being like, "Hey, yo, I want some of no companies. I'm talking about like actual. I know people. Yeah, and they are, and and but it's influenced by all of that. And I'm saying like large companies like that, in recognizing, oh, this offended. Okay, we'll we'll, yeah, we'll take that back. Because versus regular white people going to buy this it. shit and have that shit at the crib. Yeah, and then I walk into a crib and like, they get look that what flag I got. up there. And they got it's the freedom for me. I'm gonna be so fucking conflicted. Cause yeah. It's like yo, they yeah. try and they and they nice, but like I don't like this shit at yeah. all. Now how the fuck do I navigate yeah. this? And why the fuck do I have to navigate this? One thing that I learned about a lot of this shit, especially like around like Black History Month and then like Juneteenth and just Black History in general. Bro, there's white people out there that are blacker than me. And it's just like, it hits you because you be like, let me tell you something. Bro, you hear, you hear, no you are like, be black. <clears throat> the only motherfucker that's close is Bernie. No, no, I'm saying. Because he got locked up during all that Martin Luther King shit. I, 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 I'm saying it in a way. Culturally? No, I, I'm saying it in a way that they, that's how they appear to like, when you. Are like, gee, you come at me, you got the what is it called? The dashiki, and you got like African, you know, what I'm saying fit on. You got like, you trying to educate me, tell me about all that you know about <clears throat> this historic day or these like historic month and why black this. And like, when you coming at me blacker than me, like, you like. You know, over ally is what I'm saying. When you do that shit, and it's just like you're more upset about shit not, 
than oh, me. Like you are coming okay, okay. at me coming. like completely coming. like oh like honestly, okay, I know we talk okay. about it, but like the episode of uh, of Atlanta when it was uh the Juneteenth episode. Yeah. He was like, yo, what the fuck, G? Like, this is some wild shit. Like, that's what it feel like. Okay. And that's honestly why Donald Glover in this show is the greatest shit that is needed because it, it brings up so much shit that you just like, damn, that does happen. We do experience that shit. That is some awkward ass shit. And that Juneteenth episode, honestly, has evolved into a world that we see right now. Like, even though it was existing and he was bringing it in that that show and the writers was bringing this shit up, bro, this upcoming Juneteenth and all the promotion around it is really proving why that, that episode was so, like, important and why it was what it was. Because that shit is like, gee, this is some awkward ass shit. Bro. I'm forced to feel comfortable, but not, but I'm not comfortable because it's like you're blacker than me at this point. You are really like because you're rich. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like you're hitting me with all this shit. And, and so the whole his, time, his wife is on Viv. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And it took me to look back oh, at yeah. this shit. Yeah, I was just like, that's a bad wig because she. Anyway, she's a great actress. I'm a married man. man. She's, I, she's a great actress. Uh, we ain't never going to get to this topic, but we're just going to save it for yeah, whatever. We can do it. We get into this, though. No, nah, no. Nah, I'm talking about the topic that we've had on the fucking docket for the past three months. Well, you can't keep the suspense going. You can just say it or you don't. No, we're not doing it. <laughs> Stay tuned, motherfucker. <laughs> Next time on Dragon Ball Z. But... What we talk about right now is the man that proposed his girl. And, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He is in his bag. This nigga, man, I have to make that drop now. Uh, I have to make that drop now. This nigga, man. <laughs> Let me finish. Let me finish. We ain't going to get to what we watch before we <laughs> stream it. So, man proposes to his girl. Before proposing to a girl, he signs over his whole life. He signs over his rental properties. Let me get the Stone Cold going on. His rental properties. What? His union dues. What? His life insurance. What? He puts this up. Tells everybody they out at the lounge or some shit like that. He got on all white. He in his kids mode and shit. Have a good time. Niggas like 40 or some shit like that. You don't know how old black people are. And then <laughs> when he does that, some girl in the back like, I notarized it. And he gets down on one knee and proposes. You know what I'm saying? You know how it's black and black man. You know how it's shit. There's a lot of motherfucking heat coming off that damn seat. <laughs> it ain't. But- it ain't. It ain't. It ain't. <laughs> it ain't. So... My wife is the person who puts this in the group chat. And I didn't see it, but she makes it a thing. Just be like, yo. I've seen that before she sent it. Look, she makes it a thing to be like, yo, I put some shit in the group chat. Daryl mad. (laughs) I'm like, what you did? I look at it, I was like. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I see what he's talking about. And like anything else to talk about this shit? No, uh, get get in, get in your shit, man. Switch your leg, man. What we all? He is in his. <laughs> I appreciate the setup for it. Like it was gonna be so suspenseful, but it really isn't. I think that, bro. A, I don't agree with it. I ain't going. Let me just what? start with that. I ain't going nowhere. Um, I think that it's irresponsible. What? I think that he's doing that shit for show. What? And I think that he's getting in some way pandering because the video is going to go out there and it's going to excited about some shit that does not need to happen. 
they they're gonna create he's adding to some type of fairy tale which is hey look hey like you said black love is black love how he does his shit it has nothing to do with what we think or how we view it where i disagree with this all with that whole scenario bro it was me. that <laughs> no, and she is here. This shit sound like sandpaper. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't agree with it because a, when you think of marriage, a lot of that shit. If you don't get a prenup, that shit is yours anyway. Fuck all that other shit. Where anybody will ever think fifty percent of that shit is hers anyway. If you truly love her and you marry her without a prenup, she's going to have a part in all of that. If you ever divorce, so or even, you live. or or even like when you get married, if you don't have a prenup, like if you get married, the prenup is just so if you if if it doesn't work, obviously you get to leave with your shit in that agreement, and she leaves with what she have. But when you're married, she's going to share in all of those things anyway. So I think that that was just a way of being extra for no fucking reason. It, 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 it honestly is. It's like, yeah. Maybe that like, was his wife love language. No, fuck. <laughs> he is in his bag. <laughs> I'm not. Listen. Listen. I'm not going to. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I just, I, I, yo, G, listen. There's a lot that <laughs> my wife, she is, she like. There's no matter what, fifty percent of everything is what she gonna get. Like that is, that is a given. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I um, it, uh, a quick story. Went to the doctor, uh, and. The other day, and who you burn? Went to the doctor for a checkup, nigga. And wife was with me. Wife mm. was in the room. Wife was there, like with the black men everything. don't cheat. Like she was, <laughs> she was in the room with me. And doctor asked, you know, is it cool that she stay here? You know, what I'm I was like, yeah, she probably know more the answers to this shit that you gonna ask me than I do. And it was also like. My bad. When the last time you been to the doctor before then? It was probably like a year. Like I do the oh, year. Okay, that's right. That's right. Because of the because of wifey. Yeah. Not because of me. Because yeah. of wifey. Oh, uh, for real? Probably, yeah. My she teeth? she set that shit up. <laughs> so like when I'm thinking of marriage, bro, I'm thinking of like yo, like but back to the story was just like what stood out to me. What kind of stood stood out to me, which I knew about, but it was. When the part of the questioning, because she was a, a new doctor, so they obviously got to new, do new questions and shit oh, like that. Okay. Like a new doctor for me, this is my first visit. Yeah, she was like, "Yo, like if you was ever to become in, in, incapacitated or whatever, woo, like who is the person that handles your affairs or who handles your situation?" And obviously, it's my wife. Mm-hmm. And when thinking about that. It made me so comfortable to know that, like, yo, gee, I can trust her, my wife, with my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, meaning yeah. that if I become in a vegetative state, whatever. Oh, uh, pull that plug. Uh, not, not you. Yeah. I'm talking about me. I, yeah, that's Man, all right. Like, I, I am too. Fuck yeah, out like, of yo, pull that shit up out of here. She knows. Wife <laughs> like, is in complete control of everything Dead, I am literally. comfortable with. I don't even, I don't give a fuck at that point. Like, I know that she going to handle whatever decision it is i know that she knows yeah if i'm gonna send a pen the right bed, do. doing up gang signs out of here yeah so i say that to say you know when it comes to this shit bro like that's the trust i have in my wife that's the connection i have with my wife and to do all that extra like to know that like yo businesses housing everything bro is under like that like names on deeds all that shit, cause that's what he did, bro. He, he was like, yeah, "Yo, I gave her yeah, a thing to say yeah. that her name is on the deed." All that shit is like, you know, that's a show because you didn't have to tell everybody in front of everybody that she was mm-hmm. that you was doing all this shit. You didn't have, like you could have easily been like, "Hey, look, we getting married. I want to propose. I want to do this." But hey, while we what pisses you off about the show? 
it pisses me off because it's unnecessary because a lot of that shit is naturally what the fuck you get anyway. Okay. Naturally, again, without a prenup, without someone saying, hey, going into this marriage. But you know women like the show. So and some niggas. So that's what pisses me off even more about it. Because he we already bad. damn you didn't kick the camera like right here. <laughs> but like damn. what pisses me off more about that is that we already know that there's a show. We already know that there's a we, we the the engagement and the wedding are both No, you yeah. good. You ain't moving, you good. Oh, okay. <laughs> um the it just you just kick the shit out okay. of the camera. Keep stand going, nigga. Bit, nigga. Shit, just said it straight. <laughs> but we already know that there's a show, but now you have this added like pandering thing that everybody's gonna it's like a, it's like niggas didn't know about gender reveals years ago, but now one of the motherfucker did a gender reveal. Now everybody has to do a gender reveal. And you put a lot of pressure on niggas that already have issues with committing to marriages already. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with wanting the show, but now it's like, oh, if you're not going to put my, if you're not going to sit there while you, before you propose to me and tell me that you got my name on the deed, you got my name on all your what? businesses and your properties, what? you got my, uh, you got my kids under your wheel, what? all this shit. What? Bro, that is, creates a whole nother problem that a lot of people don't even realize that that shit exists because and, and i get it his show for his wife is cool but to post that and to make it a thing like like it's something big or something out of the norm what you get when you're married is just like now we trying to just show our ass and just be like on some like, yo, yeah, I got you on my D. I got you on all my properties. I got you on this. I got you on that. And if you marry me, ooh, ooh. and it's like every other nigga, but it's morphing time, ass nigga. Like, bro, like now it's like niggas, uh, like. Honestly, it puts a lot of pressure on not only men, hey. but it also puts it on women, Gee. bro. It it makes it really difficult. And let me let me cut you off a little no, bit. No, you good. I was because everything you that you saying, I was like on the same shit. Yeah. And then RIP DMX. His ex fiance. That he's been with for eight plus years. You got the kids together and all that shit. She ain't getting shit. That's different. No, no, no. That's it's different. Not, bro. No, no, no. That's check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check That's it out. different. Check it out. Check it out. It's not different. It is different. How is. Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish a little bit. What? I don't have too much to say after this. I know, but go ahead. I know. I just, you just hyped up his shit. No, 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 no. I ain't going. I ain't going because I, I just want a little bit more time before <laughs> you start uh, showboating. And I'm saying showboat because I was watching House Party 3 today. I was just going to say, I was like, man, showboating? <laughs> this nigga is. <laughs> showboat. It's the toe jam. <laughs> But, um, bro, I feel real bad for her. Yeah. Like, especially, like, she was with DMX for eight years. Yeah. DMX. Yeah. Gee, we've, uh, I ain't trying to fuck up her name. Tashira, his first wife and oh. shit, we heard about all the shit. And they was in marriage boot camp. Yeah, when she was popping this shit. And it's like, man, DMX and Ayala, like, man, I, if, if you want me to stop getting high, like, shit, nah, nigga, that's dead. <laughs> so it was just like, I understand that. And I don't think that his fiance, I'm, I'm back off DMX. I'm, yeah. I'm back talking about, uh, that situation yeah. with the dude. I don't think that she was asking for that. I think that it was a show. 
and it was a show of his love and commitment to the shit. And in my selfish mind, it's like, motherfucker, don't act like if you ever want to bring some shit up, like I ain't just give you my fucking life. Which is what happens when we get married anyway. Yeah. So I feel you. But I also feel this because you don't know what this nigga, he has some grades in this shit. You can't tell how old black people are. He might have been 40. Nigga might have been 30. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Well, that might have been his second marriage or some shit like that. If that's your second marriage, that's even dumber. <laughs> For you to even fucking do that shit, bag. nigga. Obviously, you see that this shit don't. There's <laughs> a possibility that the shit won't work. Like, what the fuck? That don't even make sense. It doesn't make sense to me. Why the fuck would you even say like, yo, like in your first marriage? So wait, she didn't get half of everything. I don't get it because you, because you didn't have her sign the paper. Like, like nigga, like. She must have had a horrible lawyer, nigga, if that was your first. She had Amber Heard like, lawyer. Like, yo, like, you know what I'm saying? Shit, you know what I'm saying? She should have called Sal, nigga. Like, what the fuck? Like, that's fucking. He is in his bag. Dumb oh, to think of that. shit. And I have no, like, I think that I value marriage and I understand that, like, yo. Pop, like, sway. Like, all that, like, she wasn't shooting with me in the gym shit. I you know, it's out the window when you get, like, to me. Even Kobe shut that Yeah, down. like, it's like, when you <laughs> get married, bro, like, that is what you're doing. You're getting married, and you are ultimately. You he ain't had to do that shit, because that shit was already coming. It's already coming, and it's for the show, and it's making it, like, it you was. You don't know how many of her friends but it also, but it's any of that. But it's also, like, the need to. What was going on that the need to make her feel that comfortable in front of everybody by saying, hey, in this envelope, I got the deed to the house. In this envelope, I got... Like, the deed to the house, yeah, I, I get it. A lot of women want to, when you get married, they want... They, they, they come into... If they come into a situation and they move in with their, you know, husband, they're like, well, my name ain't on the house. You know what I'm saying? But the motherfucker can't kick you out. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, y'all, man. And like, that's what, like, it's, it, it kind of, like, there's a lot of laws in there that makes it, like, eh. But I get it. You want your name on the D. Okay, there I would be like, all right, nigga, you could have gave her an envelope off to the side. Like, hey, listen, like, I gave you this. Bro, how and many listen, more? You ain't never did shit for the flex for your wife. Oh, he definitely was flexing. I'm I talking about that. you. You ain't never did shit for the flex for your wife. In front of people, yeah, like stop fucking playing, G. But today, Why are you trying to act like this nigga? But she was like, my, you don't understand what the fuck he doing. But she was my wife, though, at the time but, when I started doing but, it. But, but, but we not finna talk about no. your wife because your he ass have, been married for twenty years. He could have just this fucking, nigga is older than us. He could have simply. He gonna tell this nigga how to work his way. He could have. I'm not gonna tell him. Anything. But you're he saying that he's a sucker. I started it out Is he with, a sucker? No, I started it out. Well, a part, a part of me feels like, well, bro, like, if you if you love who you love and you think that this is going to be for, and this is your forever, your forever, because obviously she had a child coming into it because he said that he loved oh, so and so. Oh, she had a son, so he was like, he Ooh, felt Kevin like a father. Kevin Sanders, roll over this he, great. He felt, like a, <laughs> he felt like a father, you know, or he is a father to us. I'm not going to go there, man, because Kevin Sanders is a very, like, listen, like, there's always mixed feelings about all all things Kevin Samuels, man. Even to his death, there's been roo, like, roo, roo. like it's wild. So I'm not. That's not my argument. I'm not trying to approach it in that way by any means. But, but I'm no. saying that like if I want to Kevin Samuels. He's a high value man. Yes, true. But we don't also know her situation too because just because she had a child does not make her not high value. Because we don't know her full story. He had a whole line. Like, and, we don't know how tall she was. I mean, <laughs> no, in the sense of what she brought to the table. Yeah, That's all yeah, Kevin yeah. Sanders was. Right, was like, keep going with your point, man. We but, ain't going to do that. Yeah, we no, we're not going to do that. Gonna do that. <laughs> but 
I, I it's a um I'm trying to think damn where the fuck you made me lose where the fuck you're talking about but I, like the whole idea of like what he did there's a um there's a side of me that's saying well is it was he looking like a fool doing that like when you oh, said like when oh. he was he looking like crazy doing that because ultimately like you said if this is first marriage and you love who you love and you believe that it's your forever he does have like he's he's treating her child like you know yeah it's like he's his own i think it's her son yeah um he asks her yeah him for- like I, I get it. You're just trying to show your undying love for someone and say, hey, this is how serious I am for you. And I get that. But I think that a lot of it is unnecessary in the sense of, hey, if you get married and something happens to you, it's not. And that's why I say it's different from the DMX uh, situation, because if you're married and something happens to you, by law, everything comes to your wife. But y'all in New York, so y'all ain't got that shit. Are you talking about wife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just, she's trying to pull the common law wife in. Yeah, I'm not talking about common yeah. law. Common law is different in different states. That's like yeah, yeah, really, yeah, yeah. but marriage across the board, countrywide, is the same. Mm-hmm. No matter what is, once you're married legally, that person has the, the, the keys to your death, nigga. Like, if you go again, like we said, if something happens to you, you become in a vegetated state, that person is the one that do this. And unless you have a will... Just for me. And unless you have a will outlining exactly what happens to your money, your wife gets everything. All right, all right. So... We come in... I'm going to let you finish. Go ahead. But I just want to say that, like, that's where I look at it as... I'm not saying that he look like a fool, and I know a lot of us, you know, fellas think that, like, bro, bro, you look goofy as hell. What if y'all don't work out? I what if y'all don't, don't make it? I'm not looking at that because I don't think that he's approaching it in a way that, like, we ain't going to make it. It's more so doing all of that creates this false reality that most men are not just going to say, oh, yeah. I want to propose to you, but I want to sign over everything. This is how I show you that I want to marry you and love you is by signing over my businesses, like as you as a partner and you on this and you on that and you get all this like to my stocks and bonds and stuff like that. It's like, well, technically, if you marry her and you stay married, she's going to have access to all of that. I'm going to cut it off with this. We're going to get into what we watch and what we streaming. Yeah. And this is what I'm thinking. Man, I did this shit. I'm going to do this shit for you, for us. And if this shit don't work, you can have it. And I'll build it back up and be happy. Sometimes it ain't that easy, man. Like, building shit back up ain't that easy, bro. <sighs> Motivation is a motherfucker. It is, but sometimes, like, I mean, I don't. I'm not saying. You know what? You're right. I'm not gonna say it's that easy, but I'm just saying like, this ain't the death for me. Yeah. For you, get me giving you all my shit. Yeah. Take it. But I could watch Friday in my mama's basement <laughs> and fucking build my shit back up. Not if you're 55. Now, if you, you know what I'm saying? Like, what if it happened then? My inspiration <laughs> is the nigga from Fire Fest. I, no? They ain't hit? I don't know. I don't get that. The nigga from Fire Fest? I get it. I know you who know, it is. We talk about this shit. He's getting out, and he's going he gonna to keep being on. Most niggas don't. Ain't that you? First of all, you ain't white. It's true. <laughs> And, so secondly, it's and like, I'm not scamming this. Hey, you not a, hey, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? You so not, my relationship should still be decent, right? Like, mind you. Apparently. Mind you, dude with Firefest, although scandalous as he is, he has started what, several companies. Oh, oh. <laughs> he started actually. several companies. like so. His, and he, he scammed the, all, the whole time. Not all of them. He, I Which one didn't he scam? I don't think he scammed all of them. He scammed all of them. The credit card shit, the 
the fucking um the uh what festival the shit? and then uh the, the festival is credit card shit. He has some other shit that was like luxurious and all that shit. He even Ponzi scheming motherfuckers forever. He wasn't scamming on the app for hiring uh talent either. Not at first. No, that's actually like a legit company, I think, still. Is it? Anyway. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. But either way, I mean, I don't uh, I'm I have mixed feelings about it, put it like that. Okay. If you ever come up here and talk about something like, yeah, <laughs> got a job with this nigga. Like, <laughs> run away know. from you know me, I mean? baby. <laughs> I might try it. Run away. All right, all right, all right. What we watching, what we streaming? Did we talk about Cat Williams special last time? No, we didn't. But I did watch half of it. All right. Shout out Cat Williams. I'm glad you still out here kicking this shit. Uh, you're a funny nigga. Um, the offer. You ain't been on that shit. The offer. It's about the story of um, the Godfather, how the movie got made, all the white people going through all the shit that black people have to go through now to get a movie get made. Yeah. And shit like that. Real good story and shit. Atlanta, we yeah. already talked about that shit. Damn, I want to do long live before we did this shit. Anyways, <laughs> uh, that Atlanta episode with Van, I already talked about. Uh... No, I didn't talk about this. It was outside. Oh, yeah, I yeah, about this yeah. Shit. We, we talked about it yeah. off, off air. Yeah. Yeah, Van, one of my crushes, man. Shout out Van. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I get permission from my wife to. She don't know I'm saying this shit, but she know who I like her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying she my type. But yeah, no, my wife, it? light skinned girls and afros. We watched it. Was shit. A good she was episode. like, "You like her?" I was like, "What you mean?" <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it was a good episode because I, I like I, I told you I, I didn't even know that wow. it was Van. Like, what what part did you realize it was Van? I honestly I don't remember. Like it was definitely like when she beat through. the nigga ass. Did you know it was Van at that time? It was after. Damn. Only because I was just like, gee. Oh, that's damn. That is her. You said the Frederick Douglass. Yeah, like you know, I was like, <laughs> like I'm like, why do you? Keep, who are we supposed to know who she is? And I was like, she just did that role so well that it was just like. She's speaking in the, you know what I'm saying? This the, is the, the, the this is up, this you know what I'm saying? Is European accent and like yeah. when you but then when you realize it's how you realize that it was actually like a bad European accent, it's just like, oh I shit. I didn't realize it was a bad European accent because I don't know. I mean, it just wasn't, you know it, it was like a you know, American practice, like playing a European. Oh, like it was just, ass. it just looked like, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, 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 he is in his bag. And that was just me, like recognizing oh, all shit. that shit. But anyway, oh, no. the, the whole shit was a great episode. Cause it was just like, yeah, gee, yeah. this motherfucker was so lost in her shit and trying to escape her shit that she like transformed into a whole nother person. Like the, the trauma and the shit that she was, I was it was a dope episode, I've been there. man. I've been there. Like, motherfuckers, for real, for real. Like, you felt like, nah, I got to get immersed into this because, like, the shit back home and the shit, the life I lived is and just And the not, whole shit with, like, her and her friend and shit was just sitting there at the fucking water in front of Eiffel Tower just, like, kicking the bobos and just, like, airing the shit out. I was just like, bro, this is fucking great. Like, yeah, these black women just sitting up here just, like, Doing like regular shit yeah. out the country on some like landmark shit that everybody see, man. That shit was that shit was great to me, man. Yeah, man, it was a good episode, bro. For yeah. real, for real. Damn, we good episode. Ended it on that shit, man. <laughs> I got we own this city, which you ain't seen yet. Yeah, uh, shout out, but I gotta my boy check it Chris. out. He uh, put me on this shit. Man. <laughs> Anybody that's watched The Wire, you gonna love this shit. It's in Baltimore. And um, 
in Baltimore. It's got a lot of. I, I heard it when I said it. And I was in like, Baltimore. why the fuck did I say this shit like that? But it's in Baltimore, and it's got a lot of people from the wire. Mm-hmm. own that shit but it's not about the wire it's about a bunch of crooked police and they ass getting raided by the feds and shit six episode limited series watch that shit this shit dope as hell man uh I think we done man oh whoa, whoa, whoa. shout outs you got any shout outs man shout out to my fam shout out to wifey for sure you know what I'm saying particularly <laughs> Uh, shout out to my sister, you know, doing her thing. She's going to be coming down to Georgia to go to Georgia, you know what I'm saying? Good tech and, and just doing, you know, the awesome Georgia engineer. Tech, because you said Georgia State, and I was like, that don't make sense, but I don't know schools. <laughs> yeah. But, Georgia Tech made way more sense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, man, she's she doing her thing as an um, engineer, aeronautical engineer, so I'm really proud of her. Right now, man. Yeah, bro. You know, shout out to the shout out to the fans. Hey, right, man. Shout out, shout out my family, my wife, my my bravey. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shout out my bravey, man. Shout out my bravey, man. You can't say this shit about her. Bravey, wavy. Yeah, she don't fuck with me like that. But you know, I fuck with her. Yeah. And now, yeah, yeah, yeah. When when ain't nobody else around, she be like. All right, man. Where we at, oh, man? Gee, <laughs> can I just say this real quick? What? Just wait. Because my daughter, just hypothetically, we was all talking one day. Not serious. It was like, yo, if me and mommy had to sell a, uh, separate, who would you go with? <laughs> like, we didn't even ask her. She just told me that. I don't know where she learned this shit. But she's like, daddy, if anything happened to you and mommy, I don't want to go with you. We had this whole debate with, with Kia found out, or Kia, I told Kia that Chloe said that shit. Chloe was like, Kia was like, gee, uh-uh, hell no. Nah. And then she brought it up to Chloe. like, oh, She so making like, it worse. Yeah. She, she making it, it worse. She brought it up to her. She was like, no, you will not. Like, why would you want to go? Who who does this for you? Who does that for you? And she's like, I mean, Which you do. fun? She was like, you do, but you know what I'm saying? Daddy's daddy. I'm saying. So I say that to say, hey, just wait, man. You say she'll fuck with you. I know she, she go, fuck with me. She go, but you know she <laughs> fuck with the women more. And I already know what time it is because I'm just like, gee, who lets you do this? Who you know like, oh, like who lets you just roll around and you know what I'm saying, fuck around and shit. Hey, that daddy's These girl niggas shit is don't. real, bro. These niggas don't, man. The whole time, man, we gonna be doing all type of shit. Fuck out of here. <laughs> all right, man. Well, my shout outs with my family. Uh, shit. Hitman Podcast. Oh, Hitman G. Podcast. G. Yeah. That's a, that was a Hitman yeah, Podcast. Shout, shout out, out G. I mean, Chris. G. Shout out, Chris. <laughs> shout out, Chris, man. Fuck with us. Our brother and all that shit, man. Yeah. 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 I had other than that, man. We out of here? Yeah. Shout out, Chloe. We weird. We weird. <laughs> we weird. We weird. We weird. Yeah. This has been the I Ain't Going Show. You can watch us on YouTube or listen to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, iHeart, Amazon Music, Stitcher, and Audible. Please be sure to rate, review, subscribe, and follow.